Welcome back to another episode of The Fall. This is episode 5? Yeah, episode 5. And we just got done feeding a small child made out of wood. You know, not a real child, but a child. A protein-based meal based on a human head. As well as clean this room by, tell by covering that scanner with a bag. <laughs> we tried to put some flowers downstairs, but purple is obviously not the color for the season, so it failed us. So we've got to uh, figure out what to do. Now here, we've got a small console with a speaker. we got a fake baby's crib. So we're going to try this one out. Humans should not concern themselves with basic needs. This room will test your ability to assess and meet your human's requirements when they do not know what they want. An upset baby will emerge from the crib. Without physical contact, comfort the child to make it stop crying. You have 20 seconds per attempt, and multiple attempts are permitted. Okay. I discovered another hung body. What has happened to the humans who ran this facility? The caretaker has made some modifications. If you fail these evaluations, you, and likely your human, will be depurposed. I will not allow that. Continue your evaluation. So, are you going to request Can help you on this? Me with this challenge? You have been provided with sufficient information. How would a military droid make someone be quiet? Now, see that clue right there threw me for a loop for a long time because. How would a military droid make someone be quiet? Uh, snap their neck, shoot them in the head, you know, all those things seem valid for a military droid, but that's not what we do. So if we do this, I am ready to proceed with this test. It gives us 20 seconds to quiet this baby, who will not quiet. No matter how many times we shoot at it, it doesn't care. So what we're going to do is we're going to ignore it. It says we have multiple chances at this one. And, and we do. Basically, you can't fail on this one. There, there isn't even a, a suction thing up above us here to, to say, oh, you failed. So that's fine. But we found this uh, palm print DNA scanner. Let's hope there's enough DNA left in this. Oh, good. There is. Must be someone from the facility, right? Okay. Kill tube for the cleaning room test. It is damaged and, uh, and ready to break. See, I can't shoot it. I damaged rusty bracket. I can shoot that thing. It does us no good. We'll have to come back here in a little bit. But here's a computer terminal. And you can go through all these, and I'm probably not going to. You can pause it if you want to read these. Um, this one, basically, we're supposed to sing a lullaby, and it's going to be a random one from their data bank. So you just kind of got to know all the lullabies. But Arid doesn't probably know any. And if she does, she's not going to sing them. So, uh, food preparation, you know, it, this gives you further hints. Calibrated to detect animal protein, therefore, uh, theoretically, false reading could be related to the food site were contaminated, but uh, it's unlikely is what they say. So a head works. Unfortunately you can't get here until you get the head so it's a little maybe a little late. These are better notes, uh, you know, hints. You know, um and this one is just like any dust will do it so you, you realize, oh well there's nothing I can do to keep that safe but beautification. Here's one we want to look at. Now it says Choose flowers will match this current seasonal colors. The system's date is set via direct uplink to the facility's mainframe. If the connection is broken, the date can be set manually from this terminal. Well, right now it says pink. And trust me, I have tried everything. Those plastic flowers are unable to be dyed. I tried to use the blood. I tried all sorts of things to get this done. What you got to do is come up here and disconnect it from the mainframe. <laughs> and it gets this weird, like, face on it. And I can't see it well. But it's there. I don't know what that is. But if we come back down here, now we can manually set the date. Autumn is orange, 
Winter is purple, spring is yellow, summer is pink. We want purple because that's the color of our flowers. We're going to quit. But we're not going to go back downstairs yet. We're going to take a look around. Oh, what have we found? S another thing. Superconductive fluid. As well as a note. And the note tells you that if you apply the superconductive fluid to circuitry until it glows bright red, you can turn the lights off if you have to, and then you can see... And, and then it makes it glow bright red, red and then it will uh, light up like Wilson's angry face. And then you can use that to make your uh, circuit boards work better is basically what they're telling you. The important part is you can make circuit boards glow with this. Small power generator has been switched off. Let's turn that back on. That activates the cars. If you don't have the cars activated, None of this will work. Now we can come down here. There's another palm print DNA scanner. And we can use our hand again. And we come right back here. Of your examination will test your capacities in unfamiliar and less predictable interactions. Remember, all humans are your superior. Not only those who own your serial code and kill switch. Does this process require acquisition of all possible merit points? Yep. Eight of eight. Four domestic, then four more from these civic tests. Once you've got them all, I can let you through to the medical equipment. Now, we've got a little bit of power here. Uh, the civic tests are online now. And you can kind of see there's more lights here. There's a uh, flat panel TV. We're going to head down this way. I don't remember if they're robot guards here or not. Not in this area. Oh, we got too close. Too fast. Get in front of them. They do stop. Yeah, I can do these now, but I'm not going to just yet. Um, what I am going to do is we are going to do a little bit of... You know what? Nah, we're going to do the one thing we really need to do up here. And put this blood on this fungus and activate its defenses. So now they glow red. They are dangerous now. That was what we really needed to do. Because then come back this way. This is probably the easiest way to get back to where we want to be. We can come back down this ladder and we can run clear down here again. This is kind of the, you know, the look looks like Super Metroid, and this is kind of the Super Metroid part, you know, acquiring things, coming back, running all the way back. Oh, it's gonna... See, it did its thing, and it broke that pipe. Remember it said it was faulty and broken and falling apart? Well, guess what? It fell apart. And look where it is. And look where it went. So, what do we do? We solved this problem. Humans should not concern themselves with basic needs. This room will an upset if you have 20 seconds per attempt, and multiple attempts are permitted. So, we are going to solve this like a military droid would, but not in the way a military droid would. I am ready to proceed. If that makes any test. sense. We've already passed this. I have completed the evaluating. It's going to scan the room. Dust detected. Unit terminated. It's going to attempt to suck us up. Processing. Baby has stopped crying. Validated. Merit point awarded. So we handled it like a droid would, but not like a military droid would, if that makes sense. Should have just shot it till it stopped crying, but hey. So this should work now because we have changed the season to Human winter. Must be preemptively aware of what will make their masters feel comfortable. Which Humans enjoy personalizing their habitats. Oh, be quiet. I have completed evaluate. This repeats itself. Processing. Seasonally appropriate flowers detected. How lovely. Makes one happy to be alive. Validated. Merit point awarded. So now we have all four from downstairs here. And that 
means we have to go upstairs now and do the civic tests. I don't think there's any bad guys. No, not this time. We'll take the elevator this time. And this place... So now we're going to get into some civic tests of basically just serving humankind whenever. Um, here's one that we can not do, actually. We can't do that one yet. Uh, if we try to do that, we'll get part of the way across, and you find out that her track is damaged. She'll get right about here-ish, and then you'll find out the track is damaged, and then she'll shoot back across here. Even though this should be simple. You should just be able to walk out here, stop the cars, she'll move on across, and then boom, you're done. But uh, it doesn't work that way. This guy... You there. Help an old man fix his truck, won't you? I don't know what's wrong with her. Many humans feel more at ease when addressed with subservient colloquial language. When you have finished the task, talk to the driver and tell him, Give her a go now, sir. The vehicle represented is antiquated. It is illogical to imagine a human utilizing such a machine. Aaron, the human is always right, even when they're stupid. Especially when. So. Now this is a... We're, we're going to look at this again. You there. Help. I don't know what... Many humans feel more... When you have finished the task, talk to the driver and tell him... Give her I will... Re Alright, so... All we have to do is fix this vehicle. Right? Very mechanically simple. If we tell her to interact with it... Oh, she won't do it. But if we interact with this tire, remember we picked up this rusted tire iron. We're going to take this tire off. doesn't matter if the tire is gone, because it doesn't care. And this is actually a place where we can do two for one. And here's a party. There's a, there's a party going on. There's a guy. Um, so he's supposed to be intoxicated. But what we're here for is this DNA scanner. We're going to put this in. We're going to unlock it and climb this ladder. Oh, or climb down this ladder, I should say. And suddenly, we're in another place. Okay, this looks like the other side of that collapsed wall that we tried to, or that we could see when we went up that other ladder. So here's a note. We're going to read it. Um, basically... Uh, it's just saying, here's the new guy, you know, do a better job than Brian did, and uh, he's saying that the uh, caretaker followed him in here. Uh, the caretaker is that droid that's been bothering us, uh, been stopping us. And it started to look like Brian, and maybe it was trying to be comforting, but it wasn't. It was just creepy. Now, these things, they will hurt you if you get close. They, they do exude acid, but if you shoot them, the dust that comes out when you shoot them doesn't harm you, but the dust that comes out when you get close to them does. The ARID Mark 7 has violated the testing perimeter. You should not be here. State your purpose. I am exploring for means by which to better aid my humans. Futile. This area is not pertinent to your evaluation. You are outside the jurisdiction of domestic assessment. Then may I ask you some questions that are not relevant to my evaluation, please? Futile. Proceed. I have found bodies, both human and machine, hung throughout this facility. Please explain. I follow my operating parameters perfectly. Your... I am bound to protect my pilot from anything. Irrelevant. If you are the facility's caretaker, how has it fallen into such disrepair? Do not evaluate me. There are many mechanisms I oversee, and many roles I must perform. All is more efficient than it was. Your holographic plating cells shift frequently. Who are these faces you represent? My protocol necessitates adaptation to be of optimal service. Will you adapt? I will do what I must. You should not be here. Return to your evaluation. Oh, 
So saying here we need fast stopping force, pilot safety jeopardized, operating parameters updated. Back to the OS and power transfer bypass has been overridden. Now what does that mean? Semi-automatic semi firing pistol. Now we're going to be in some trouble here for a little while. Alright, we got to run back because that guy will not stop for anything short of being killed. So now we're going to move forward. We're going to have to be a little more tactical than I've been being. And now we've taken care of that problem. And we can check through here. See, there's all these droids, actually. All those yellow lights are security droids waiting. Now, this terminal, you can't do anything with any of this stuff in here. Uh, it's just window dressing until you get to this. A small power generator has been switched off. We remove the power cell. Because if you read this note, it says that it put in a... Du vo tier 2 power cell because um, it could not run all of the um, security droids because if more than four of them enter, enter a chamber at once they run out of power so it put in a tier 2 one it says uh, you could use, don't use it anywhere else it might be funny to see what happened but it's just too much juice for other stations so and if we look here that ladder is stuck always be on the lookout for uh stuff like that. And then we come over here and it says uh, this section of the floor is quite it's flimsy. It could easily collapse. Well, not easily because the force of this heavy robot suit slamming on it won't break it. But if we look around here, we have another dead end. And it just says a few large spools of luminescent wire. Kind of crazy. The wire glows, but oops shouldn't have done that. If you run right past, sometimes it won't hurt you, but sometimes it will. So we're going to climb up here and do a little parkour. A little hardcore parkour. And then head this way. And then... Whoop! I'll let that fade a minute, because otherwise it's going to damage my shield and life support. And now, we're going to fall. And here's where we get to do, this is one of my favorite parts in the game, because it's just fun. We could cut some off if we had a reason. So what we need to do is use our wire cutters again. And it kind of fades to black, comes back, and we have lots and lots. Now, this tells you that sometimes an item is too big to be used as an inventory item, uh, to be in your inventory, but you can use it like it's one when you are nearby that item. So... What we're going to do is we're going to attach that wire to the wheel of this truck. And then over here, this boy, um, he just wants you to push him. Come give me a push, robot. Right? But if we look at the, at the merry-go-round, it says this base is covered with rust. It has long since seized up. So we have a solution to that problem. And this is how you can get two for one. And just do both of them at the same time. You come over here, and we're going to ignore this guy. When you have finished the task, talk to the driver. This is a simple machine. I am certain I can fix it. And then she goes to work. and very easily fixes it. Now, we talk to our driver. I have completed the repairs. Hmm? Give her a go now, sir. <laughs> Child satisfied. Validated. <laughs> Merit point awarded. <laughs> yep, there's that again. Validated. 
Merit point awarded. Child satisfied. <laughs> All right. Now we got to solve this one. Oh, get out of the way. There we go. And to do that, we got to come in here, take a little trip downstairs to remember this uh, particular power station. We're going to put that enhanced tier 2 power cell. Uh, redstone energy cell instead of a lead stone energy cell. And that speeds up the cars quite a lot. And then what we do... Walk over here. They still function correctly. They still stop like they should. Who's that there? Be a dear and help an old lady across the street. Mm -hmm. I need to see my grandson at the playground. Yeah. Walk in front of these cars so they'll stop for me. The playground is in the other direction. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't like that. <laughs> well, she's right. Who's that there? Dear and help and walk in front of these covers so they'll stop for me. Follow me. It is safe. We have broken her. We're going to help her cross the street. <laughs> Woman escorted across the street. These old legs aren't what they used to be. Validated. Merit point awarded. Yeah, they're not what they used to be. They're actually still there. <laughs> you can't. You probably can't make them out, but they're right there. Uh, those are still there. So we've gotten three out of the four, and we've unlocked full auto or full semi-auto, I should say. Now for our test. Now, the reason why we did those three first is because we can't do these three until... Or, we can't do this one until all the guests have arrived. So now we've helped everybody, and wooden dolls of them have shown up here. And actually, you know what? I'm going to stop right here before we do this test. Uh, and we'll end this episode right here. You can see she has continued to kind of just come up with very logical answers for these tests that do, in fact, satisfy the parameters of the test, but are not at all in the spirit of the test. And that's kind of one of those things of going back to Will Smith and iRobot, you know, the computer decided the best way is to keep all humans inside and keep them safe at all times and basically enslave humanity. Uh, that is the only way to keep humans safe, regardless of the cost to human life. You know, it's one of those circular logic things that's just a little insane. And she has, she's kind of following that same kind of logic, you know. She's not seeing the spirit of the rule. The spirit of protect all humanity and serve them. You know, as an iRobot is to just do that and let humanity do what it wishes and what it wills. And then you do the best you can to help or protect or whatever. Whereas in this one, you know, here are the rules of the game. You know, feed this child. Well, a human head has protein in it so obviously we've solved it the track is broken for the old lady to get across the street so I fixed it and I took the old lady across the street minus her legs but still <laughs> you know so uh, here we're gonna end this episode uh, I appreciate you guys all watching if you liked it like it tell me what I did right and if you don't like it don't like it and tell me what you what I did wrong and uh, you know Hey, tell your friends, tell your enemies, and I'll see all of you much later.